satanic seals. Say breaking satanic seals. Hallelujah. Sema kuvunja mihuri za shetani. Uh, I wish I had a witness in this place tonight. Hallelujah. Say breaking satanic seals. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Now, um, this week in our prayer in the morning, we have seen a shift in our lives. Hallelujah. Those who have been coming here for your morning prayer from 5.30 to 6.30, you've seen what God is doing. Amen. And so, I want to begin by submitting to us that um, a seal is uh, a device that closes two things together. Praise God. When you talk about a seal, it is a device. It is an instrument, praise God, that ensures that two parts are held together. Hallelujah. Say breaking satanic seals. So it fastens. It fastens. It closes together. Praise God. So that the two may be inseparable. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is also a device or a substance that is used to join. Hallelujah. Or to confirm the unity of two things or two parties. Hallelujah. They break it. Satanic seals. Hallelujah. A seal, two parties. Praise God. An agreement between two parties. Hallelujah. And so when a covenant is made, there must be a seal to confirm the parties in this covenant that they are up to task to enforce and to perform the terms and the conditions of the covenant. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. So when God wanted to engage a man into covenant, there was slaughtering of animals. Say, I hear you. When an animal will be slaughtered, the blood that was shed was used as a seal. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whenever a covenant engagement was brought on the table, when a man rose up and wanted another man that they may be in a treaty, they may be in an agreement, hallelujah, they had to slaughter an animal. And the blood of that animal was then used as a seal to bind the words that were spoken between two, these two parties together. Praise God. To ensure that the commitment of these two parties, hallelujah, was not going to be broken. Say, I hear you. Now, we have prayed against covenants. We have prayed against altars. We have prayed and broken satanic and demonic huh? covenants. But there are seals that we need to look into and ensure they are broken. Why? Because a seal is able to bind you to a situation. Hallelujah. To put you in unity with a circumstance in accordance to that covenant. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say, I hear you. When 
from families that we come. When you look into families where we come from. Hallelujah. It is easy for, for you to carry an identity. Facial expression. Your mindset. Your thought patterns. And even your lifestyle. It speaks a lot about the family where you come from. Praise God. And the values which you received from your father and from your parents. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now many of these families that we have come from. The patterns, the cycles, and the things that are physically visible. Which we can see and identify you with such and such family. There is a spirit behind it. Hallelujah. Say, I hear you. Say, I hear you. Most of these African families, hallelujah, when you go down deep into your traditions, in the moment or the time of establishment of that tradition or that culture, there was a seal. Hallelujah. That now binds every seed and everyone that is born of this family to behave in such a manner, to marry in this way, to prosper or fall in accordance to the structures of the covenant. It is a seal that protects, a seal that preserves. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A seal is also a sign. Say a sign. If you're hearing me well, say a sign. So a seal is also a sign. Praise God. A sign. A sign of protection. In those days, when a messenger will be sent, a letter for that letter not to be opened by anybody. There was a seal of the king that was rubber stamped on that letter. Hallelujah. So that when this letter is taken to the one the message is supposed to be taken to, he can assess it and know that the information is not tampered with. Hallelujah. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Say, I hear you. Tonight, it is your night of deliverance from every demonic seals in Jesus' name. I say, it's your day of deliverance from every satanic seals in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, many people's lives are protected in the entities of their bloodline. The powers in the bloodline have a way through which they are holding you back because of the seals. But now you are breaking them. Say, I am breaking. Say, I am breaking. Now address it personally. Say, I am breaking every demonic seal on my life today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Say, I hear you. Say, I hear you. Ha. Ah, Jesus Christ. Praise God. So, um, let's look into scripture. The book of Isaiah. going to look into Isaiah. Okay, let's look in Jeremiah first. Jeremiah chapter 21 and verses number 1. Jeremiah chapter 21 and verses number 1. My prayer today is that God of all grace will deliver you in Jesus name. 
I say, may God of all grace deliver you in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter number 21, if you're there, say, shout a big amen in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 21, verses number 1. The Bible says, the word which came unto Jeremiah from the Lord, when King Zedekiah sent unto him Pashur, the son of Micaiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Maaseiah, the priest, saying, Inquire, I pray you. I don't know if I'm reading the right, the right scripture. Inquire, I pray you, of the Lord for us, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon makes war against us if the Lord, if it be the Lord will deal with us according to all his wondrous works that he may go up from us. Verses number three. Then said Jeremiah unto them, thus says, um, thus shall he say to Zedekiah, thus says the Lord God of Israel, behold, I will turn back the weapons of war that are in your hands. Wherewith you fight against the king of Babylon and against the Chaldeans which besiege you without the walls. And I will assemble into the midst of this city. And I myself will fight against you with an outstretched hand and will with a strong arm even in anger and in fury and in great wrath and i will smite the inhabitants of this city both man and beast they shall die of a great pestilence hallelujah praise god now you may be wondering hey pastor what is this that you're reading hallelujah when you read this scripture it is evident that the prophet of god who was seated hallelujah and when the king sent men to inquire of him of the events that were happening around them and about the security of their future, praise God, the man of God then begins to release a declaration. Why? Because when you read down deep, you find that these people were sealed for destruction hallelujah now there are so many people who are sealed for destruction hallelujah uh -uh, you're not getting me there are many people that are sealed for destruction say destruction appointed that they should be wasted hallelujah and on that appointment the seal is upon them praise god Hallelujah. There are people who have been sealed for poverty. Hallelujah. You may get opportunity after another, but whenever the opportunities are coming, there shall be those that are open to ensure that whatever that is coming in, hallelujah, equals to what is leaving your hands into the camp of Satan, into sickness. Praise God. Many people have been sealed. Are you getting this? Hallelujah. Tonight I am breaking every seal on your life in the mighty name of the Lord. I say I am breaking every demonic seal upon your life in the mighty name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you read scripture in the book of Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah. Let me just go back to Isaiah. Chapter number 11, uh, chapter number 8, Bible says, bind up the testimony and seal it, seal the law among my disciples. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
So now, let me bring you to a place where you may understand easily. Okay? Uh, in territorial domains, the laws of territories. Praise God. The laws of what? Say territories. Come on, somebody say the laws of territories. In the laws of territories, there must be a king in that territory. Okay? Or a strong, a strong man. Praise God. Now, the king of the territory, he has all the laws in his favor in that territory, okay? Praise God. And so, for the laws to be easily enforced, we have what we call principalities, praise God, or principles. They go around in the hand to ensure that the laws that have been spoken by the king are enforced. I get it. Get. Hallelujah. Now, part of these laws are affecting our lives. Part of these laws are affecting our families. Part of these laws are affecting our finances. Praise God. Say, I hear you. Come on, say, I hear you. I want to get your voice very clearly and as you encourage me. Say, I hear you. Now, so, when you break it down, you find that your family is a domain. Say, I hear you. Your family is a domain, is a territory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Your family is a domain. Praise God. And so, in that domain, there are laws that are put in place to ensure that you behave in this manner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These laws are guarding the interests of the family. The interest of the same family. Praise God. Um, now, some of these interests may not be your personal interests. Say, I hear you. Praise God. Some of these laws, these, these interests that the laws are guarding may not be your personal interests. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Say, breaking every satanic seal. Hallelujah. Some of these laws may not be particularly in your interest. They may be harmful to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. When you read in the Bible, there's a story of King Saul. King Saul encamps against the people of the Philistines. And they are there and the man says, according to his strategy, he says, everybody among us, my soldiers, you must fast. And they fast. And when they are fasting, his son, Jonathan is not aware of the declaration of the fasting. So the man, Jonathan, goes ahead with his servant over a cliff. And he says, well, he prays a prayer to the God of Israel. He says, well, I know that God can save by many or by a few. So he rises up and goes and faces these people and he smites them by the hand of God. Hallelujah. And when he smites and defeats them himself alone, when he's coming back, he sees honey in the forests. And he pokes his weapon in the honey and draws the honey out and he, 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 he takes the honey. And the Bible says that after that, there was a great indignation in the camp of Israel. And Saul asked a question, who has defied the law of the king. Praise God. Say, I hear you. So, when Saul asked that question, every one of his soldiers and captains say, we have not. So, they then, they cast lots and the Lord falls on Jonathan. And so, Saul declares Jonathan must, must die. Praise God. So, he put up a law to protect the entities of the kingdom. 
and the victories that were forthcoming. But the law rose up and was against Jonathan. Are you getting it? Say, I hear you. So Jonathan was supposed to die. Yet he's the one who brought victory. Uh -uh. Hallelujah. There are some laws in your family that have condemned you. Yet you are the one who built that first permanent house in that family. You are the one who broke the pattern of marital disgrace in your family. Yet the laws in that family declares that even though you broke this pattern, yet you are supposed to die. You are supposed to be wasted. Praise God. I am here to reverse those laws today. Even as we break these seals. In the mighty name of the Lord. I say I am reversing every law that has been set up in your family that is contrary to your life in Jesus name hallelujah so when covenants were then made blood was shed okay so here so when this blood is shed that blood then covered it ensured spiritually that you are not you are inseparable okay so I hear you Hallelujah. Say, so I hear you. Bloodshed. Ah, I don't know if you're getting it. The blood that was shed, and some of this blood, you may not be aware when it was shed, okay? I'll give you some examples, okay? Hallelujah. You know, most of you young men and young women who live in town, you think that you have, you have overcome the powers of your village. Because of the place you stay, the house you live in, the car you drive, or because of the place you are working. Hallelujah. You are lying to yourself. You can only defeat your village on your knees by prayer, by understanding how to break the patterns in the village. Hallelujah. Say, I hear you. Praise God. So now, um, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling like, I don't know. Huh? Oh, we're online. Okay, good. Praise God. <laughs> I can give you some of my stories, okay? So I hear you. Just say breaking satanic seals. Tonight they are broken in the name of Jesus Christ. So the blood was shed, okay? When the blood was shed, listen to me clearly. That very blood that was shed was a seal. Okay? Praise God. Now, when Abraham is called by God, one of the covenants that God establishes with Abraham, God tells Abraham that every male child that is born in your house must be circumcised. Okay? Hallelujah. I get it circumcision led to that blood being shed hallelujah praise god and so then the the covenant the terms of the covenant were binding to everyone that is born in the house of abraham say so i hear you just follow me closely and i'm bringing you to a place where you'll understand in jesus name so now every family every family every village there are covenants. Okay? Are you getting me? There are covenants. And there are times, that, there are some time when blood was shed. Yes, you may be in the fourth generation, the fifth generation. Okay? But the fact that you are ignorant of the covenants that were undertaken during the times when people exist, when those, when, when your ancestors worship other gods, it does not exempt you from the effects of those covenants. The fact that you are ignorant, okay? Listen, the fact that you are ignorant of what transpired at the root of your family does not actually exempt you from the effect of that thing that was done in your family. And so we have many people that are saved in the city. They believe God. They love God. 
Yet they suffer disappointments. Hallelujah. They love God so much. They are fasting. They are praying. Hallelujah. But because they are ignorant of how to face this circumstance, how to break these seals, they still, whenever opportunity comes, they face failure at the verge of breakthrough. Suddenly, battles arise round about you. Whenever opportunity comes, hallelujah. I have shared with you about when I was planning to, to get married. And we had engaged with my wife. Was a fiancé by then. And something happened and I saw in a vision, very old ancestors. They, are walk, they were walking with sticks. Praise God. Hallelujah. Many of you know that story. Praise God. But the end of it was that the patterns that were in line of my bloodline established by my ancestry will not have permitted me to get married. Hallelujah. Sometimes maybe not in the way that I was going to get married. Hallelujah. You know, there was um, a certain man in the village, one of our pastors, pastor friends, so he got engaged to a certain young lady. She was still in high school. They were just young. And they did not break the covenants. They did not deal with these demonic seals. Are you getting me? So the day that this lady finished her exams, eh? from four exams, she ran straight away. To the house of this young man. He's a pastor. In the church. We have committees. Planning for wedding. Yet this girl she runs. And so. She came to a place where she was almost mad. Are you getting it? Say patterns. And seals. In my family. Must be broken. Say must be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say every pattern. Every seal in my family affecting my life, affecting my marriage, it must be broken in Jesus' name. So young people, it is not enough for you to say, ah, my parents, they are old, they don't understand. You are getting there. If you don't break what they are going through, hallelujah, you still face it in your time. Say, so I hear you. Say, so I hear you. Say, so breaking Every demonic seal. So that we begin breaking the seal by handling what I call demonic or satanic bloodshed. Hallelujah. Say, I hear. So you have to get to a place where you cry to God and say, Father, release me from every blood covenant that is speaking in my family, that is speaking in my, my village. Hallelujah. If we have to realize the greatness of life that God has promised us to become, we must be serious with the area of deliverance. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Christ died. He shed his blood on the cross. He declared it is finished. But Jesus, having declared it is finished, does not mean that you sit there and wait and think it is finished. Praise God. By him declaring it is finished. It gives you the ability to lay hold. And restore back your dominion. By fighting. Hallelujah. So as a believer. You are not fighting to win. You are not fighting for victory. You are fighting from a position of victory. Say I'm fighting. Come on somebody say I'm fighting. From a position of victory. That means that however many, whatever alliance of witches that may rise against you, you are seated with Christ Jesus in the heavenly places. You can speak and the witches will scatter. Hallelujah. Whatever attack they send on your life in your dreams, when you wake up in the morning, you can make declaration and its effect is nullified. Why? You are fighting from a position of victory. 
That is what the establishment, what was established by the death of Jesus on the cross. He died poor that we may become, not that we may be rich, uh -uh, we may become rich. Are you getting that scripture? He died poor that you may do what? Say become. So becoming is a process. Hallelujah. Say becoming is a process. Hallelujah. So God says in, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 8, And God blessed them, and he said, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue, and have dominion. Hallelujah. So the impartation of the blessing of God is what gives you the ability to subdue the enemy. Hallelujah. Say, I hear you. And you begin by dealing with demonic blood shed in your family. Lift up and say, my father, my father. Come on, somebody, I want a serious cry. Say, my father, my father. My father, my God. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I break every covenant. Every covenant in my bloodline in my bloodline say every satanic covenant in my family i break you i destroy you in the name of jesus say my father my father my father my god by the covenant in the blood of jesus i break every seal of satan on my marriage I break every seal of Satan on my finances. I break every seal of Satan on my children, on my career, on my business, on my health, in the mighty name of Jesus. So most of us, some of the challenges we go through, we are not aware that it is because legally in the spirit we have been tied together with that problem by a seal. Uh -uh. Hallelujah. We've been tied, we've been sealed together by blood. Okay. A young man married a lady from another community and that community hallelujah in a certain in the, in the terms of their forefathers, they had a problem with this family. Very bad problem. To an extent that the father, the ancestor, the forefather of this girl, praise God, this man, saw and said, if anybody will marry from that community, may this family reject you. Praise God. If anybody will marry, from that community, may you be rejected forever. This man, generations following, he gets, he gets a nice, beautiful lady from that community. They are not aware of the covenant. Praise God. So he marries this lady. They look like it looks like they are successful in their endeavors. Until a certain time, everything is like it has been made to come against them. Trouble, trouble. Financial challenges. Marital problem. No baby coming. And they are wondering what is happening. They begin to disagree. Why? Because there are words that were spoken over them. And those words are living. Praise God. They are living. Hallelujah. Any word that was spoken against you, even in the realm of your forefathers, let those words be cancelled today by the blood of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 1 verse 14. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting of ordinances that were written contrary to us, I blot out any word that is against your life in the mighty name of the Lord. Any word that was spoken Against your life, it is blotted out in just name. 
One time in our village, in my community, there's a certain old man. He went, he was a farmer, a farmer of sugarcane. So the company introduced systems of payment eh? that were automated, computerized. Let's go on. So the man went and uh, he went to the teller. He was getting his, his pay. And so he asked, uh-uh, you are telling me this is the amount of money that I'm supposed to get. You, you are giving this money. You are giving me this money. What is the, tra- what is the problem? Now the teller is trying to explain to this old man. He doesn't understand. He's illiterate. He says, uh, you know, computer imekata pesa yako. I said, huh? Computer imekata pesa yako? Kwa nini? So, they tried to explain this man over and over again. He was not getting it. So, he went back home. And he said, computer, no. Computer ni baya sana. So, one of his, his, his grandsons was going to the university. And he went to do computer science. When he came back, I think it was like in the third year, he met this man, and the man is trying to ask, asking, What are you, where, what are you, <laughs> I'm getting it. What are you studying? He says, I am studying computer science. When the old man heard about computer, he said, No, you must change. That thing is bad. It stole my money, it took away my money. You will never succeed. Hallelujah. He has later, the man was knocking every door of companies in Nairobi. No success was coming on his life. What? The old man spoke. Hallelujah. The old man spoke. And the words are hanging on the face of this young man. When he enters room, when he faces, he wants, he is applying for a job. He is not getting it. Why? The words of this woman. I deliver you today from every word and every spell spoken against your life by your forefathers in the mighty name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Say, I hear you. Say, I hear you. So we need to understand the Bible says that we have been sealed by the Holy Spirit. Okay? You following? We've been sealed by the Holy Spirit. Let's go. So, we must then ensure that we have to destroy every demonic seal. Hallelujah. Listen, this thing we go home, most of you go home and you say, ah, uh, you know, I miss family gatherings. Eh? How many of you have been in your villages, you doing family gathering, goat eating and all those nonsense? How I many you just lift up your hands? Ah, uh, lift up hands. You have been in your village, you say, uh, over Christmas, eh? A family gathering. Praise God. Hallelujah. Nobody. The, all of you are delivered that side, eh? Or you are like a pastor. You remember now? Eh? <laughs> One last prayer. So you slaughter goats. You eat goats. Praise God. Not aware that the blood that was coming out of that goat. Praise God. It was a renewing a certain covenant. One of my daughters, I, I, I think I'll not say that one, but because I know she's watching. Praise God. Hallelujah. Say every seal, every seal of the enemy in my life, it is broken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. How do you break these seals? Because most of these seals were established long time ago. You may not even be aware of them. If you are suffering, hello? If you are suffering multiple disappointments, okay? Multiple what? Disappointment after another. Like you knock this gate, it was open very well, then it closes, it shuts. You go to this one, so well, me back to the Maneno Kwamba. Now you are to 
every opportunity ahead of you runs like it's scared of you are you getting me hallelujah there are people whom when you enter relationship with them your money gets down it goes away is the truth hallelujah you just befriend him he comes to you some of them they buy stuff from your shop that's when you started falling away and out with your suppliers say tonight any effects of satanic sales around my life it is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ say it is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ it is cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah how do you break this shells? Number one, you must, you must understand the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Because we have a principle, okay, of prayer on this altar that we call altar verses. Come on, shout it altar verses. I can do an altar verses. Altar versus altar. Praise God. This means. That if an altar is attacking you, hallelujah, you raise an altar, a godly altar, hallelujah. If the, an altar is pursuing you, you run towards a godly altar. Praise God. It's called altar versus hallelujah. So now, the blood cannot be dealt effectively with except there is a superior blood that is put in place. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Unless you invoke a superior blood, the other blood will reign to rule. Praise God. Now the Bible says that when the perfect comes, the imperfect goes away. Hallelujah. So, the effects of the blood covenant that you're suffering and the seal thereof of that blood cannot be broken and be destroyed with its effects unless you understand the power that is in the blood of Jesus and unless you receive the knowledge of the cross. Say I hear you. Say I hear you. If you are among those believers who, you know, like, ah, uh, Mamba Yadamu, ah, no, no, Mimi, Holy Spirit, no, 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 all those, you are, you'll be a suffering believer. You are, you will go to heaven, yes, okay? I'm not saying you'll not go to heaven. You will go, to, I promise you, you will go to heaven, okay? But concerning the mandate of dominion on the earth here, ah, uh ah, -uh, uh -uh, no. Hallelujah. Praise God. Until you embrace the embrace. Embrace the ordinances of the kingdom of God. The ordinances of the kingdom of God are superior rituals. Say so here. They are what? Say superior rituals. Every deity, every deity has ceremonies and rituals that they use to superimpose their desired effects. Praise God. Now God or Christianity is not a deity. It is not a religion. Praise God. It is more than a deity. It is more than a religion. Hallelujah. Christianity is the love of God shed abroad in men's heart. Changing lives. Restoring man into the perfect image of Godhead. Hallelujah. And so in that, there is blood that was shed. And the blood that was shed, it was shed so that the judgment and the justice system of, of the spirit may be served. Say, so I hear you. Now when you understand the power in the blood and what the blood is able to do in your life and embrace it, every other power and every other blood cannot stand on your way hallelujah praise god say i hear you 
Many people are suffering because they want to be on the shallow side of salvation. They don't want to go deeper. Jesus Christ told Peter, come on, go deeper, draw your nets, praise God. Ah, say I hear you. The blessing is in the depths, praise God. The victory that you are supposed to enjoy, you are claiming it, yes. But for you to experience it, praise God, you have to go deeper. Say go deeper. Ah, say go deeper. I can't hear you say go deeper. For you to experience that total victory that Jesus Christ declared, you have to go deeper. Praise God. And sometimes, or most times, the, the path through which you have go to go deeper. Listen. Um, you know, we have, we have people who have doctrines, okay? That refuse things like anointing oil, that refuse Holy Communion, okay? I'm not disputing it. But it depends on the rank of your faith. Hallelujah. There is a faith level you get to where all these things that are physical can no longer cannot carry you to God. Huh? Are you getting it? In Exodus chapter number 12, verse 13, God is telling Moses, the Lord tells the children of Israel to slaughter the God, the, 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 the lamb, and put the blood of the lamb on the doorpost and on the lintel. For I will come in the land when I see the blood, I will pass over the houses where you are in. And the plague that is coming shall not be in your houses. In other words, the activity, the action of taking blood and smearing on the doorposts and on the lintel gave them supernatural immunity. Say, I hear you. Say, I hear you. They received immunity supernaturally by the blood. Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, if they would have said, no, blood of God, uh -uh, to be where? No, no, no. They will have died. Praise God. Because the angel of death was sent in Egypt. On every household in Egypt. Hallelujah. Praise God. It was not sent on Egyptians. Listen to me clearly. It was not sent on Egyptians. It was sent on Egypt. Praise God. Egypt as a kingdom, the Bible says in verses 29 of that, that, that there was a great cry. For there was not a house where there was nobody that was dead. Even the servants of Pharaoh. Okay? And their slaves that work in the dungeons. They were mourning. Praise God. So the ritual was the blood. Okay? I'm getting it. Mm. Hallelujah. When you embrace the power in the blood, you will never suffer that embarrassment again. You will never suffer that, 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 that demonic attack again. In Jesus' name. You know, things of the spirit things of God in the spirit are received via believing. They are received via believing. Say believing. They are, they, 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 are uh, they, they are apprehended through faith. Hallelujah. So in Hebrews chapter number 11 and verses number 28 the Bible then says that by faith Hallelujah. By faith he also kept the, the, the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood so that the destroyer should not touch their firstborn. So it was done by faith. Uh -uh. Hallelujah. So I hear you. So when we are talking about the blood of Jesus, it is incorruptible blood. It is the blood of a seed of a woman. Hallelujah. The blood that comes from the father himself. Say, I hear you. And when this blood comes into your life, every corruption in your bloodline, that corruption with us, it surrenders. 
are the power in the blood. So every seal that the enemy has, impl- has, has placed on your life, when it sees the blood of Jesus Christ, that seal breaks. In fact, it is liquidated. Say, I hear you. Are you following? Say, I hear you. Hallelujah. I have a few minutes to finish. In Jesus' name. Today, anywhere, Mali, Popote, come you will child will find you against your life. Now, we are visiting it by the blood. We are visiting the very place that that blood covenant was undertaken. And we are going, with, we are going back with the blood. We are going back in the, in, 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 the, in the realms of time. Backward, praise God. With the blood of Jesus Christ to correct every error in your bloodline. If there be a demonic seal that has bound you on poverty, bound you on disappointment, bound you on certain conditions that we call sicknesses in your family, that seal must be broken. I say that seal must be broken. If there be a seal that is binding you into continual defeat, continuous defeat, I declare as we visit by the blood, that seal is broken. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You cannot be a child of God in this era as young as you are. Because your grandfather married seven wives, you also have to marry seven wives. With this economy, this economy, Mike, <laughs> hallelujah. Eh? Seven what? Say, I refuse. Every spirit, every covenant, and every seal, every seal of polygamy in my bloodline, I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, just because you are not having two wives, huh? doesn't mean that you are safe. Because what does um, huh? praise God, what does polygamy do? Polygamy breaks the resources into two. Hallelujah. Or even into more. It wastes people's lives. It invites the spirits of jealousy. Witchcraft grows into family because they fight for resources. Hallelujah. If you are suffering from some of that, in that spirit, the strong man that is in charge of your situation, we break that seal in Jesus' name. I say we break that seal in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So you must understand the power in the blood. Now, in Revelation chapter number 12 and verses number 11, the Bible says that and they overcame by the blood. Say the blood is a facility of overcoming. Hallelujah. Hey. Praise God. Listen, to overcome, eh? can I put it in simple, simple language, okay? To overcome does not mean to defeat. Praise God. Hello? It means the enemy had gotten an upper hand on you. Okay? Then, by your understanding of the covenant, you rose up and that covenant gave you advantage against the enemy. Hallelujah. So you rose, though you were fallen, you rose up and prevailed. I see you prevailing. I say, I see you prevailing. I see you prevailing. Though you were in a bad condition, though your family was in a bad status, though your business was in a bad status, but because of this understanding, you are rising up afresh. You are prevailing. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. In Jesus' name. I see you prevailing tonight. You are prevailing. I say you are prevailing. You are prevailing. You are prevailing. Lift up a hand and begin to declare.
declare I prevail. I am prevailing. I am prevailing. I am prevailing. I can't hear you. Say I am prevailing. Say I am prevailing. Say I am prevailing. Say this situation shall not finish me. This situation shall work out for my good. I am prevailing by the blood. 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 Hey! In Jesus' name. You cannot be conditioned to suffering. Like suffering is your second name. Eh? Is suffering your surname? What is suffering in your language? Eh? Say it. Suffering in your language. Eh? You don't know. <laughs> Mike, say it in, your mic, in the microphone. What is suffering in your language? Chandrok. Eh? Chandrok. Yes. Is still that Chandrok? This Chandrok is everything. Hallelujah. So you try this. The year comes, the year goes. Hallelujah. You put up, what, what do we call them? Eh? Those yearly resolutions. Eh? You'll be like, hey, this year, I'll be a better man. I'll do this. I'll save money. I'll do this. I'll build a house. Hallelujah. Somebody help my daughter there. In Jesus' name. Then from nowhere, in the month of February, the month of March, all the resolutions are broken. There is a spirit behind it. There is a spirit behind your suffering. There is a spirit behind your suffering. You have been sealed to that suffering. You have been sealed to that trouble. If I be a servant of God, if I be a prophet of Jehovah, whom I know I love, by the blood of the covenant, I separate you from that suffering. I separate you from that trouble, from that evil challenge that has been repetitive in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I deliver your marriage. I deliver your family. I deliver your business by the blood of Jesus Christ. Right now, you are rising up afresh. You are overcoming by reason of the blood by reason of the blood every losses you have been experiencing in your business because of a demon spirit i erase it i cancel it i terminate it by the blood of Jesus Christ. every power that was stealing away your customers because of this demonic shield i break the power i destroy the power in the mighty name of jesus christ In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So when the blood is sealed, when the blood seals, when the blood seals a covenant, the place of that sealing is now established as a stronghold. It does what? Come on, I want to hear your voice. Is what? It becomes a demonic stronghold. It is responsible for holding you strongly. Ah, hallelujah. Responsible for holding you strongly. Pastor, come. Pastor, come. come. I want to, to do a demonstration here. Hallelujah. Strongholds are powerful. And some of them cannot allow you to go. You want to go, yes, but they are holding you. You want to pass, they are holding you strongly. Try to escape. Try to escape. This is a stronghold. Are you seeing? Hallelujah. Where the seal was established, it becomes a stronghold. It is responsible for summoning you to failure when you are just beginning to succeed. It is responsible for summoning you to frustration when you are just almost getting happy with your husband. It is a stronghold. Tonight, every stronghold in your life, every stronghold in your life, I break it, I break it, I break them in the mighty name of the Lord. Every satanic stronghold, I declare now, they are broken. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Lift up your hands, somebody say, in the name of Jesus, I dismantle. Say loudly, say, I dismantle. I dismantle every stronghold, every stronghold of evil covenants, of evil covenants in my life. In the name of Jesus, repeat it again, say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, I dismantle, I dismantle every demonic stronghold, every demonic stronghold in my life, every stronghold established in my family, established in my lineage, established in my ancestry, established in my bloodline. Where are you? Be broken, be broken. Say, release me, release me, release me, release me, release me, release my life, release my life, release my finances, release my children, release my children, release my spouse, release my spouse, release my career, release my children, release my business in the name of Jesus Christ. Strongholds. Where the seal was established, there is a place where you are recalled. You are taken back from a place of advantage. Who are you to succeed if the seals in this family say you should not succeed? Who are you to drive a car if the seals in this house, in this family say nobody should drive? I break that stronghold right now in the mighty name of the Lord. I say I break that stronghold. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shagadaba Zakataya. The book of Zachariah. Shila Bozata. Legando Zento Frazia Tanadia. Shake a bazo Frazataya. Zechariah chapter number four. Shale Brazanta Bazakataya. Every stronghold is guarded by a strong man every stronghold is guarded by a strong man Zechariah chapter number 4 verses number 7 who are you O great mountain before Zerubbabel you shall become a plain and he shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting crying grace grace unto it lift up your hand right now I want you to deal with a strong man in your life, strong man in your family, strong man that is responsible for your continual shame, for your disgrace. I want you to deal with that strong man right now. In your seated position, I want you to lift up your hand and thunder prayer. Begin to declare, my father, my father, my father, my God, every strong man in my life, responsible, responsible for my suffering, responsible for my predicaments, every strong man in my family, in my bloodline, in my marriage, responsible for my disgrace, every strong man in this territory, responsible for my failure, responsible for my struggle, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Break by fire. Break by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lift up and say, Who are you, O great mountain? Say louder, say, Who are you, O great mountain? Before me. Before me. Say, I serve a living God. Jehovah is his name. I come in the name of Jehovah. Oh, ye great mountain, be made a plain. Be made a plain. Be made a plain. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth. Every strong man, every strong man of my life that has been responsible for that evil canopy, evil canopy, evil canopy, you are not 
the center of bad news. No, I refuse. It cannot be that every expectation is failing. Whatever you expect is failing. You cannot be the center point. The epitome of bad news every day. Eh? Say, I refuse. I refuse. Say, I refuse to be the center of bad news in Jesus' name. When shall you be happy? The Bible says in Psalm chapter 1, happy is the man. Happy. When shall you be happy? Hallelujah. When shall you be happy? When shall you smile again? When shall you laugh continuously again? That trouble must be broken off your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God wants you to be happy. God wants you to prosper. He says, I wish above all that you prosper and be in good health. There are people when financially they begin to prosper, the enemy condemns them into bad health. Bad health. You hear oh so and so. Ah, we do it. We are in India. Eh? Say today. I uh, say today. I remove my name from the register of those visiting India because of sickness and diseases in Jesus name say by the blood of Jesus I remove my name from that register from the register of those who are to be bedridden in the time of their success in Jesus name God wants you to enjoy your life he wants you to live a happy life. He wants you to prosper so that the kingdom of God may be relevant on the earth. He wants you to prosper. Hallelujah. He wants you to prosper. Hallelujah. Haven't you read, read? The Bible says that God teaches us. He teaches us. Hallelujah. He teaches us how to profit. So, losses. Where are losses coming from? Praise God. Hallelujah. You need to carry your... Eh? How do we call those books? Eh? Eh? Your cash flow. <laughs> swear. Carry it and drop it on the altar. Say, Lord, I have been faithful on this altar. I have tithed. I have given seed. I have given to your kingdom. Where are you? Show up for my business. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah that my people are plundered and none says restore. I lift up my hand right now. I declare restoration. Wherever you are plundered, anywhere you are plundered, anywhere the enemy plundered you, I cried out, restore! Restore! Restore in the name of Jesus Christ. In First Samuel chapter 29, the Bible says that and David asked the Lord, Shall I pursue? And shall I recover? God answered instantly, said, Over pursue, for you shall surely overtake and recover all. Lift up your hand right now. Say, I refuse the spirit of recovering small, small. In the name of Jesus, I recover all. Say, I recover all. I recover all. I recover all. In the name of Jesus. So in Zechariah chapter number 9, in verse number 11, I'm finishing. Bible says, as for you also, by the blood of your covenant, I have sent forth your prisoners out of the pit where is no water. The cistern, that pit is called a cistern, okay? Hallelujah. Normally, ever seen the people that do construction, when they come in that construction, they will dig somewhere. Nowadays, they build a place where they put water. They store water Okay, for the use on the on the structure they're working on. Praise God. Now, long time ago, in the times of Israel, 
in the times of Old Testament, they will identify a place that is not porous. Okay? It's not excessively porous. They will dig a hole and then they carry water and come and store in it. It's called a cistern. Okay? A waterless pit. That water is not permanently there. It is being used in a season. And it will run out. Because it's, it does not have a direct fountain. Praise God. Now, most of these systems later were used as prison halls. Hallelujah. If you remember, the king called Jeconiah. Hallelujah. He arrested Jeremiah and he put him in a system, in a waterless pit. Praise God. He hid him there. Praise God. Because Jeremiah was prophesying against that kingdom. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand right now. As you lift up your hand right now, any seal that has condemned your virtue, your marriage, your blessing into waterless pits, as God be Jehovah, let it be restored in the mighty name of the Lord. As for you also, by the blood of your covenant, I have sent for your prisoners out of the pits where there is no water. Out of the pit where there is no water. Out of the waterless pit where your finances were taken into a waterless pit. If I be a servant of God, let your finances be restored. Let your finances be restored. Where your marriage was taken and has been hidden in the waterless pit, I command tonight by the blood of your covenant, the blood of Jesus, let your marriage be restored. I call out your marriage. I call out your finances. I call out your work. I call out your job. I call out your business from the waterless pit right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Receive back your job. Receive back your finances. Receive back your marriage. Receive back your business. Receive back your profit. Receive back your customers right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Shakata Bazikita. Somebody pray in the spirit. Somebody pray in the spirit. There is a transfer immediately that I'm seeing. I'm seeing gates opening. I'm seeing opportunities coming your way. I'm seeing better testimonies in your life. Somebody pray in the spirit as you apprehend. Somebody pray in the spirit as you apprehend what God is doing in your life. This suffering that you see tonight, you shall see it no more. The Bible says that God told Moses, the Egyptian that you see, you shall see them no more. I declare tonight, this suffering, this challenge you are seeing, you shall see it no more. In the mighty name of the Lord, let there be a total release. Let there be a total release over your life. Whatever is supposed to beautify your life, whatever is supposed to make your life be, be, be relevant, I declare, let there be a release. I declare, let there be a release. Let there be a release. Whatever that has been apprehended, apprehended by the armies of Satan, I declare, let there be a release. By the blood of the covenant, let there be a release. I set free your blessing. I set free your virtues. I set free your life. I set free your health. Tonight, your business. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ and others. The power in the blood of Jesus. Shilozi parika dola, marela ziprasata. Tonight, heaven is opening for somebody. You have been troubled for a long time. For so long, you've been chasing and pursuing things. But beginning today, they shall pursue you. They shall chase you. They shall pursue you. For the Bible says, seek ye after the kingdom of heaven, after the kingdom of God, and his all righteousness, and every other thing shall be added unto you. I declare today, let there be an addition, let there be a release, let there be an addition, let there be a release. Hey, tonight, I see heaven opening, I see doors opening, in the mighty name of the Lord, and this satanic keeper that was a 
responsible for restraining you not to get that blessing. I arrest him. I arrest every gatekeeper. I arrest every demonic gatekeeper. I arrest them tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your hand. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to declare by the blood of Jesus. I am breaking every demonic seal. The seal of poverty. The seal of struggle. The seal of disappointment. The seal of failure. I devise the book. I break it. Every satanic seal. I break it. Lift up your hand. Lift up your voice. Somebody pray. I break it. Every demonic seal. I break every satanic seal. Every seal of struggle. Every seal of disappointment, I break it now. Every seal of every seal of labor and profitable hard labor, I break that seal. I break it now. I break every seal. I break every demonic seal by the blood, by the blood of the new covenant, by the blood of Jesus. I am breaking. I am breaking. I am breaking. I am breaking every seal, every demonic seal established in my family, established in my bloodline, established in my ancestry. I am breaking every seal, every seal, every demonic seal that has been affecting my marriage, affecting my business, affecting my career, affecting my finances. I pray, you seal of witchcraft, I pray. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Shaleba Zakataya. Come on, pray. If you are serious with this prayer, your life is changing. Angels are being loosed to ensure whatever you are declaring is in force. Somebody pray. By the blood. 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 By the blood of Jesus Christ. By the blood. Pray, 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 pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. You have been afflicted for a long time. By the Bible says, affliction shall not rise up a second time. What is this seal that is tying you on affliction? Repetitive affliction. The Bible says, affliction shall not rise up a second time. Oh, ye spirit of affliction, you must let me go. You must listen. I command you, lose your hold. Go out of my life, out of my body, out of my life, out of my body. Every affliction, affliction, affliction. I command you out, 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 out. E kabo zekataya, jilabla zekataya. Of this 
disappointment, every kind of pain, every demonic cloud, evil cloud of disappointment, I command you now, out of my pressure, out of my life. Somebody pray. There is a visitation right now. 
Shele baza kataya, le kama shetera, le baza kataya, le baza kataya. Ina na bara na baza kala na baza kataya. Shele zipa baza kataya. The grace of my Father is in the house today to deliver you, to set you free. Every seal. Now listen. Everybody, place your hand on your stomach, on your navel. Wega wake to bicha kumkono, wakulia. Hey, I lose that. Some of you are going to feel like electricity in your boot, like electricity running down, running down. Ashes. I want you to build the whole church. Your hand on your stomach. Kila mtu wake mkono kwa navel, kwa kitovu chako. Every blood covenant in your family, in your family, in your family, in your family. Every blood covenant responsible for your family's predicament. Right now, right now, I release you. I set you free. Every blood covenant, every covenant in your bloodline, pursuing you, pursuing you, catching up with your business, with your husband, with your wife, with your career. I erase it. I terminate it. I break it. I silence the seals. I break the seals of that covenant today. She loves the brother time. Every enemy, every enemy in your soul, in your career that has been used by Satan against you. Where are you, enemy? Where are you? Cast fire now! 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 Cash fire now, cash fire now, your demonic competitor, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire, cash fire. Again, the basic guitar. He shall do basic guitar. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, he is at the basic guitar. Any projection in your dreams that was used to attack you and arrest you. Aye, losi paya, teli paya, na shata, leda zeketa ya. Some of you are going to start vomiting immediately by this prayer. Hey, la zeketa ya. Every projection in your dreams, they brought food in your dreams that you may eat, so that you may miss opportunity. I break the seal. I break the seal of the food covenant in your dreams. I destroy every seal that has been permitted, permitting dreams to come in your life. Every dream pollution, every dream pollution, out, 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 out. Dream pollution, dream pollution, out, out, out. Every arrow, arrow shot on your marriage, shot on your family, shot on your business. Where are you, arrow? Backfire, 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 backfire. Every evil arrow, backfire, backfire, backfire. It's a time of visitation right now. The Spirit of God is in this place.
Holy Spirit, you are in charge. This is your service. This is your service. Something new must happen in the lives of the people of God. Something new must happen over their lives right now. Wherever they were tied, I stand under the anointing of Jehovah. I release you. I set you free. I release you. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he sent his disciples and said, Go! You shall find a donkey. It is tied in the village opposite. I release you. Wherever you have been tied, in your opposite, in your opposite, I release you. I set you free. I release you now. 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 I break those chains on your feet. I break those chains on your feet. I break the chain. I break the bondage. I break the now. I release you. I set you free right now. Receive your deliverance. Receive your freedom. Receive your deliverance right now.
I announce your total freedom, your total deliverance from the seals of evil covenants in your life. Beginning today, you are a new person. Everything that was not working, it will work in your favor. Let God be true. Let every man be a liar. It shall be known that this declaration was by God. It was by God. Therefore, I stand as his servant to declare. Every delay on your life is broken. Every disappointment is broken. Every stagnation is broken. Every financial challenge is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I lift you up higher. Out of the mighty clay. I set your feet on a perfect ground. I declare you receive a new song. Even a song of praise to God. Somebody celebrate the Lord. Come on, somebody celebrate. Celebrate Jehovah God. Come on, celebrate somebody. I celebrate somebody. Celebrate with me. Hallelujah. 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 I want to see there are people that God has already healed. Because I sense there has been instant testimonies. If you are, when you came in and you are feeling sick, Lift up hand and you're feeling different. Lift up hand. You're feeling different. Go, give glory for, give God a clap offering for the healing. Testimonies, healing miracles. Somebody celebrate the Lord. Come on, come on. Just walk ahead. Come on, testify. Come ahead, come in front. Join me on the altar. Let us disappoint the enemy. The Bible says they overcame by the blood of the, the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. You receive your healing. Come, come forward. You, those two, three that lift up your hands, just come. Stand with me here. Instant healing miracles. Hallelujah. Come, 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 my daughter, just come. I deliver your legs from this. Welcome. Please tell us what the situation was and what you're feeling now. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Somebody celebrate the Lord. Celebrate the Lord. Just lift up your hands. I declare their testimony is sealed. Lift up your hands. That testimony, it is permanent. In Jesus' name. It is permanent. That attack will never come back on you again. You walk in your divine health perpetually. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Praise God again. Okay, I also came with, uh, I've been having a heart pain. So, yeah, I was prayed for. I just had fear. So, take a good day. So, I was really feeling it. So, I was but when we started praying, we got the kama in a shade off, in a shade off, in a shade off. Ata sa ina zaunga vizuri na zafika vizuri na zaina mabizuri. So I thank God. Somebody celebrate the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now that the miracle is permanent. Let the God of glory change your story. The testimony is sealed. It is permanent. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Timo is coming to testify. Give him a mic. These are testimonies, instant healing miracles by the word of God. The Bible says that when the word of God was preached, power to heal and to deliver was available. Amen. Amen. 
Jumapili ilikuwa the same but when we were praying nilisikia kichwa imekuwa then tumbo ikaanza but for now i am okay hallelujah somebody celebrate the lord for our son in the name of his come on come on come here i declare in the name of jesus Christ, lift up your hand i declare in the name of jesus Christ of nazareth the testimony is permanent affliction shall not be on you again let god arise you are safe in jesus name amen somebody celebrate the lord come on celebrate the lord the god of glory shall change your story as you are